Well, the largest battery storage plant in the city of San Diego is coming to Barrio Logan. Other communities have pushed back against similar facilities, but ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell explains why the community is embracing this one. So this storage plant that I'm in is less than a half a mile away from Perkins Elementary School. I spoke with the principal earlier and he told me that initially the idea of this storage plant being so close to the students gave him pause. But after building a relationship with the developer, Arivan, he now sees this plant as more than just a power source. Building projects like this gives us the opportunity to invest in the local community. Kevin Smith is the CEO of Arivon. The company just opened this 200 megawatt Peregrine Energy Storage Project in Barrio Logan. It'll provide energy for around 200,000 homes um, for two hours during the peak period of, of each day. The facility is designed to help boost the grid, sending power to weaker areas when it's needed most to help prevent blackouts. But there's one more impact it's already having. I believe that they were trying to reach out to different uh, stakeholders in the community in, in order to establish goodwill. Fernando Hernandez is the principal at Perkins Elementary School. And thanks to our Revon, we've had kids go to the La Brea Tarp, it's in Los Angeles. Hernandez says when the project started a few years ago, Arivon officials stopped by the school to answer any questions they have about battery storage plants and potential hazards. But I'll be honest, we did have a conversation about it when the fire in Otay happened. Last year, crews spent nearly two weeks battling a lithium-ion battery fire in Otay Mesa. Then in September, schools in Escondido were forced to close after a fire erupted at a sdg and &E battery storage facility. We're optimistic that they've learned from the mistakes of the past and that they'll be safer. Arivon says their plant uses state-of-the-art technology from its design to advanced cooling systems and promises it won't pose a danger to the Barrio Logan community. Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.